In the last video, I talked about the Google Neogenic steps, and then I said that in the next video, I would talk about the allosteric regulation of the enzymes that catalyze those steps. But before I get to that, I want to mention a few little things about writing out the steps for glycolysis and gluconeogenesis. If you're asked or if you're told to draw out the step catalyzed by hexokinase, well, I know that hexokinase is the first reaction of glycolysis where we take a glucose to glucose 6-phosphate, we invest in ATP, and this happens. Now, I know that this, this enzyme only exists in glycolysis. It does not have anything to do with gluconeogenesis. So if I'm told to draw the step catalyzed by hexokinase, I know it's this because this step is irreversible and this is the only thing that hexokinase will catalyze. Likewise, if, I t if I'm told to draw the step catalyzed by glucose 6-phosphatase, then I know that I'm going from G6P to glucose. I'm adding water, getting a phosphate out, and that's the only step that glucose 6-phosphatase is going to catalyze. And I know this step is specific to gluconeogenesis, and it's only in gluconeogenesis. But what if I'm told to draw the step catalyzed by enolase? Well, then, then I get confused because I know that enolase is one of those enzymes that catal can catalyze both the forward and the reverse reaction. So this is an irreversible step. Oh, excuse me, not irreversible. Sorry, reversible. This is a reversible step. So. I don't know what they're asking for. Are they asking for the reaction in which we go from 2-phosphoglycerate to phospholienopyruvate? Or are they asking for the reaction in which we go from phospholienopyruvate to 2-phosphoglycerate? So there's ambiguity. If you're told to just draw out the step catalyzed by enolase, that's not enough information. You need to know whether you're being asked for the glycolytic or gluconeogenic step. That's an important piece of information. Because if I know they're asking for the step from glycolysis, then I know it's this one, the forward reaction, right? Going from 2-phosphoglycerate to phospholienopyruvate, which we can convert to pyruvate, which would be, of course, the glycolysis pathway. But if I'm going from phospholienopyruvate to 2-phosphoglycerate, then that's the gluconeogenesis reaction right going the other way so if you're told to write the step catalyzed by a particular enzyme that you know is reversible then you have to know whether you're asked to draw the glycolytic or gluconeogenic step but for other ones other reactions in which are that catalyze irreversible steps then there doesn't need to be a particular specification because you know you should know that that step is irreversible and therefore can only be part of one particular pathway. So I just wanted to mention this as a sort of heads up and it's something to be aware of. Thanks for watching.